Paste the heat sink on the driver first. Be careful not to touch the heat sink to the solder joints on both sides of the driver to avoid short circuit. Pull up the cable of switch and the cable of board power. Make subsequent wiring cleaner. First, plug the 3-pin cable with AP label from the power supply box into the power management interface on the lower right corner of the board. Connect the 2-pin cable of the Y-axis and stop to the second interface in the middle of the board. Use 4-pin cable with a Z-label to connect the Z-axis motor to the Z-motor interface of the board. Use 4-pin cable with a Y-label to connect the Y-axis motor to the Y-motor interface on the board. Finally, use the 3-pin cable with a Z-label to connect the optical and stop to the third interface in the middle of the board. Untie the drag chain harness. Pick out separate red and black cables. Pass behind the Z-axis profile. Connect it to the blue, hot N0 interface on the board. Pick out the two pin white, blue black, green black three sets of cables. Plug the white cable into the hot N0 sensor interface on the board. Plug the green black cable into the model fan interface. Plug the blue-black cable into the hot and zero fan interface. Tile the cables in this row below the board with ties and sort them out. Pick out the 2-pin cable with a X label and the 3-pin cable with a E label. Plug the 3-pin cable with a E-label into the 4th interface in the middle of the board. Plug the 2-pin cable with a X-label into the 1st interface in the middle of the board. Tile the cables in the middle of the board with ties and sort them out. Connect the remaining 4-pin cable with a X-label to the X-motor interface on the top of the board. Connect the 4-pin cable with a E-label to the E-motor interface on the top of the board.
Finally, connect the power cable to the black interface on the right side of the board. Connect red cable to positive pole. Connect black cable to negative pole. So far we have completed 90% of the wiring on the board. Next, you need to organize the cables. The switch cables is recommended to pass through from the bottom. In this way, other cables can be used to press the switch cables to avoid cable swelling. Some longer cables can be snapped into the Y-axis profile groove. Make good use of ties to reduce the difficulty of organizing cables. Pull the cables at the other end of the drag chain. Adjust the length. Note that when pulling the cable, you should hold the cables instead of the terminals. Usually the four cables of red black, green black, blue black and white should be about the same length. Other cables can be stretched until there is no curl. Wiring and finishing completed. Finally, check whether the Y-axis slider will rub or scratch any cables during the movement. Perfect. Secure the button switch to the bracket. Adjust the indicator light on the button switch. Assemble the LCD screen to the panel. Plug in the knob cap. Installing the cooling fan and air duct of the board. Note the position of the fan cable. Peel off the protective film on the cover of the board. Install the cooling fan on the cover of the board. Install the button switch to the side of the LCD screen. Lift up the FPC cable interface. Be careful not to lift too hard. Avoid damaging the interface. Insert the FPC cable. Cover the interface. 
Make sure the cable connection is stable. Connect the other end of the FPC cable to the board interface in the same way. Plug the cables into the switch. Note that the tenon on the switch should correspond to the buckle on the connector when plugging in, so as to avoid wrong connection. Arranging cables and switch cables. Then fix the LCD screen on the bottom plate. Connect the cooling fan into the interface on the upper right corner of the board. Then fix the top cover of the board. Fix the Y-axis drag chain to the Y-axis slider. Connect the cable of heating bed. The red and black cables here do not need to distinguish between positive and negative, and can be connected freely. After connecting the cables, fix the hotbed to the Y-axis slider. Check and adjust the cable of hotbed. Avoid cables rubbing against profiles during Y-axis movement. Put it on the pay printing platform. Perfect. Slide the cantilever into the Z-axis profile. Rotate eccentric nut. Turn the red marked line on the eccentric nut towards the profile. Adjust the engagement of the Z-axis slider. Rotate the eccentric nut a few times at a small angle. And check whether there is still shaking between the Z-axis slider and the profile. Put in the screw rod and insert the coupling of Z-axis motor. Lock the screw of the coupling to fix the screw rod. Hold the position of the eccentric nut. Then tighten the screws of pulleys. Then fix the drag chain to the Z-axis plate. Pass the three-pin cable with a E label through the triangular hole of the Z-axis plate. Plug it into the interface under the extruder. Pass the two-pin cable of end stop through the triangular hole on the Z-axis plate. Connect it with the black two-pin cable. Plug in the cables of the axis motor and the X axis motor.
Organize the cables. Make it look more beautiful. Connect the cables of printed. Connect the white cable with black strips to the red-black cable. Connect the white cable to the white cable. Connect the blue-black cable to the cable with blue terminal. Connect the green-black cable to the cable with with green terminal. Finally, fix the cables to the printed part with a tie. Organize the cables and connectors. Make it look more beautiful. Insert the feeding tube into the extruder and print head. Finally, install the handle on the top of the Z-axis profile. And you are done. Perfect.